This is a building and this is a sheep in a hip hop hat. But more importantly, this is an image attached to the building. And in this video, I'll show you how to attach things like videos and images and sheep in hip hop hats to static objects in Adobe After Effects. All right, so I've got the clip from the intro in my project panel. If you want to download this to follow along, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So we'll grab the clip and drag it onto the timeline to make a new composition. Then we'll come up to Window and Tracker. That'll open the Tracker panel over on the right. So making sure the video is selected, we'll come over to Track Camera. And in the Effect Controls, we'll select Detailed Analysis from the Advanced drop-down. Now, depending on the length of your clip and the spec of your computer, this might take a bit of time. You might even get the occasional error message and have to start the whole process again for the sixth time. Once it does finish analysing, you'll see these track points scattered all over the clip. So when you hover between three of these track points, a red target appears, which shows the orientation that the object will be attaching will take. I'm actually going to move forward a bit in the timeline and attach this to this part of the building. So we'll find a target area that's nice and flat to the wall, and then left-click to select the target. Then we'll right-click and create solid in camera. That'll give us a random solid colour, so yours will more than likely be a different colour to mine. You'll also notice new track solid and 3D tracker camera layers in the timeline. So it's this track solid one layer that we want to add our content to. So to do that, we'll right-click on the layer and pre-compose. And you can call this whatever. And OK. Now we can open the layer to change the content. So we'll double click on the layer and that'll open it up in the new comp window. So you can come up to composition and composition settings. And we can change any of these settings. So let's say you wanted to add a 1920 by 1080 video. You could go ahead and select one of the presets for that. But I'm just going to leave this all as default for now. You can always come back and change this later if you need to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is delete this solid color. And then we'll grab whatever it is you want to attach to the wall. So you can drag an image or multiple images and text or a video or an animation. But I'm just going to grab a PNG. And then we can scale this and move it around and stuff. Once you're happy with the placement of your content, we can close the comp. And then you should see your object attached to the target. So you can see this is a bit small and the angle's a bit off. So let's just zoom in a bit. So to fix this, we'll come down to the track solid layer and twirl down the transform options. And first I'm going to up the scale to make the whole image a bit bigger. And the orientation can be changed in here too, but I just prefer to use the handles on the image itself. I find it just a bit more intuitive. So have a play around and get the perspective spot on. And then we'll shrink this down to fit again. And play it back. And that's how to attach things to things in Adobe After Effects. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.